What is up guys, it's Visual Waste and today we've got another unboxing video here. We've got another shipment here from Graph City. I think it's in and around 100 cans and some caps and things. So without further ado, let's get to it. Huge amount of paint in one box. some of the original skinnies that used to come on the 94s. They are by far my favourite skinny cap to work with. Loads and loads of lovely pinks. So a lot of this paint is actually for a job I'm working on today. So I'm going to do like a separate vlog painting type setup um, after this video. So just getting all that. Got some lovely Tokyo pink, it's real nice. Some supernova. These all blend real good. And then some of the orchid. So the piece I'm working on today is some cool cherry blossoms and a geisha from a Japanese restaurant. I got some flash tones. I was running low on my flash tone, so I've picked up some in this shipment too. Oh, these are the nice ones too. These are background colours. These greens. Supernova. Okay, what else have we got? Some gentlemen around. Alright. Yeah, I was running low on my greys as well. So when I'm working with stencils and I'm doing portraits, you probably know that a lot of my work is kind of that monotone colour. So these are the greys that I work with the most. Got some Rita. There's some browns over here. Yeah, here's the other greys here. We've got London with a darker shade. These are by far my two favourite greys in the, in the 94 range. I love that Malta white as well. It's just this nice off-white colour that when you're doing portraits and stuff, it just uh, it just blends real good with the darker browns and lighter mid-tone browns. Okay. I know in this order I've ordered a lot of black paint, it's just more grey. And these are the other greys, so Stardust. Looks like white, but it isn't white. You've got that lovely sort of light grey tone in it. So if I'm doing a colourway, I would start with the with the London, and then go to Rita, and then go to Stardust, and then have white in it as well. Just some normal matte white, and then black at the other sides. So if you're working on a five-layered stencil piece, they're the sort of colours that I would go for. Yes. So I ordered some. Stencil caps. If you've never used a stencil cap before, it just gives you. I know that the stock cap on the 94 will get you sort of one centimeters, but this thing here, you're talking millimeters in terms of line thickness. So it's just for working in really cool things, you know, like eyelashes and, and really fine detailed things. So this is how they work. So you've got your. You've got your stock cap and you keep that on and you just make sure the two of them are kind of parallel and you just pop it over the 94 and it gives you this lovely fine line and bear with me this is my left hand get some really fine lines see how fine they are you can go finer, it's just this is a full can of paint. When you get sort of halfway down a can of paint, the pressure is, is a lot less and you'll be able to get really even thinner lines than that. The one downfall is the paint that is being caught by the stencil cap all collects in here, so you get, you get a lot of drippiness. But they do the job, you know what I mean? They're two quid or something, so they're, they're worthwhile for adding them wee fine bits of detail. Oh, what? 
Nice. So I had seen, I got a mail from Graph City because I'm on their mailing list, saying about these caps that basically give you every type of width in the one cap. So it's very similar to an airbrush setup. So I was really looking forward to, to getting one of these and trying it out. Full review on this, I'll do a separate video doing a review on this bad boy. I've got this and I've got the stencil cap, so we'll maybe be able to work out some kind of video there. But shout out to Graph City for sending me this. Okay, we've got some of the mid-tones in the background. So for the background, I'm going, I'm going for this kind of nice greeny kind of, their Erasmus green and glory green, some lovely greens there. More flesh tones. We've got the Monstrat. That's another really nice warm flash tone. More green. And I think the majority of this is black and white. The other gear, it's all black and white. Yeah. So I think we've got. 20 black and 10 white. So this is the paint guys, all laid out from the darkest shades are at the back going forward to the lightest shades at the front. We got the pink starting here at Orchid going right down to the Supernova pink. So there'll be some nice blends there between them guys. Some lovely flash tones. Can't really see it with this light. The Malta, Dingo, Tana, Monostrat, and Mole Brown at the back, the darkest there, and then Marrakesh. I think the Marrakesh is actually, it's a lot warmer looking than the Mole Brown. And I've got all these lovely greens, so this back, the piece I'm painting today at the Japanese restaurant is all lovely green background. And then there's some grey mountains and stuff, so the greys as well, starting right back at the London grey, going to Rita, and then Stardust, and then right to your stock white, and then all the black. I use a lot of black paint, and then we've got the skinnies here and the Every Damn Sunday cap. So I'll be doing a separate review then of this cap. Looking forward to trying this out. It's really cool to see new products coming out like this. I know there's a more advanced stencil cap you can get which collects a lot more paint in the bottom. It goes over the whole can. But uh, these will do me for now. So yeah, that's it guys. So that's that's the paint. I'm gonna get it stacked over into the into here and I then pack up my paint for today's job over at the Japanese place. So big thumbs up guys if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe.